Well, we are celebrating women and 100 years of voting. Jennifer Camps is with us, curator at the Benjamin Harrison Presidential Site. 100 years. Yes. Wow. Actually, Indiana was the 26th state to ratify the amendment, and um, it finally passed in August of mm -hmm. 1920. Wow, incredible. Something to celebrate for sure. So empowering. Let's talk about this new exhibit where you're bringing so much of women's rights all in one place. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of things that um, connect the Harrison. So everybody has their role. You, know, you have some of the suffragists who are protesting and doing parades and yeah. organizing. And others maybe are a little bit more subtle. So we kind of cover all of that. Um, it takes all of them to make it happen in the end. Mm -hmm. um, so you have Benjamin Harrison, for instance, who's like writing articles for Ladies Home Journal, um, explaining uh, how the government works. They felt it was important for women to be educated about the different branches of government. Um, so we can talk about that. You have um, postcards. That some things are anti-suffrage. Some things are pro-suffrage. Um, actually, the term suffragette wow. is kind of um, interesting because ah. et is small or diminutive. Okay. So it can be, you know, usually used in a, a negative way. You have them. Um, yeah, here. This, so this is a one of the postcards. There's like a whole series of twelve postcards that were done, um, showing the suffragette being. Um, you know, leaving her husband at home with the crying children, mm -hmm. not leaving dinner on the table, those sorts of things. So um, you had that whole back and forth with like the pro and the con of the mm -hmm. anti-suffrage. Um, again, real, real photograph uh, postcards were something that the pro-suffragists often use, showing them in parades and whatnot as well. And their gatherings, you have, you know, ribbons and sashes and different things that they had that they would wear at the parades. Um, just all kinds of different things that were, are associated mm -hmm. with the whole movement. And, you know, from the 1840s to 1920, um, that they were fighting to get the right to vote. It's amazing to look back at some of these pictures and think, you know, a hundred years ago, if not more, and what, what life was really mm -hmm. like for them back, back then. And you brought a few things that kind of allows you to feel that, mm -hmm. right? Let, let's go ahead and get started. Tell me what we have sure. here. Well, at the um, end here, we have a copy of the Ladies' Home Journal from February of 1896. So, and again, that, and it's a magazine and publication that was around for decades. But yeah. Benjamin Harrison is actually writing articles that appear from uh, 1895 to 1897, again, about the government and how things work to help educate. Um, brought a couple of other postcards with us, too. So, again, the uh, kind of the pro suffrage often had their little sayings and whatnot on them, and then the anti cards like you saw some uh, um, examples as well and then the stocking is a fun yes. thing so again they had sashes they have ribbons they have pens they're wearing you know buttons are wearing but you can see it has votes for women embroidered in there on the stocking so a little subtle wow. way to show their support while they're out in the parades mm -hmm. and whatnot we have a pencil votes for women so something they could use it you know whether around out at work whatever playing cards we have some different games wow. and different things that were done so again it has their uh, the logo for votes for women but it's actually you know a deck of playing cards a uh, photograph of a parade from you know, like the 1913 time period when they're picketing and parading a little bit more in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. And then we have Belva Lockwood down here. She is actually oh. um, a lady who ran for the presidency in 1884 and in 1888. Um, and in 1888, it would have been against Benjamin Harrison, so she could run for the presidency, but she couldn't actually vote for herself. Mm -hmm. And um, she has a very interesting history as well, which you yeah. can learn more about at the exhibit. It makes you very proud, um, especially as a woman, but I think no matter which gender you are, just knowing how far women mm -hmm. have come. Um, I understand self-guided tours. You can come as, as well at the Benjamin Harrison yeah, Presidential Center. So, you know, it's, we are, it's part of the uh, tour, okay. um, so it's no additional charge for the exhibit. Yeah. Um, so you can take a tour of the home, and this is uh, going to be on the third floor of the house there. Um, another exhibit is out in the Welcome Center as well, so lots yeah. to see. See a little bit of everything, but mm -hmm. obviously this just a nice addition. Thank you so much for your Thank time. You. Truly do appreciate it. Again, we'll put all the information, everything you need to know, on our website, IndieStyle.tv. Okay, again, that great opening, um, that as well on our website, IndieStyle.tv. Thank you. All right, Tracy, thank you. on over to you. All right, Amber, thank you very much. Again, that link on IndieStyle.tv. You don't have to have them on top of spaghetti to enjoy National Meatball Day. We find out the secret to make it a good slash great meatball with IndieStyle Returns.